my boy What you do in our town Hey, my boy Chasing all our women around Pardon me, sir It's the furthest from my mind I'm just looking for a dear friend of mine Welcome back to the True Rock and Roll Podcast. As usual, we're here with Sue Ann and King Edward in the middle of the Scorpio sandwich. God bless bless you. Anyway, today we're doing a Keith Richards. And Keith Richards, you know, outside of the Rolling Stones, I don't think he's been really successful, you know, in terms of his, you know, maybe solo career. Mm-hmm. But I think everybody's gonna really like this one. It really this this kind of song really suits him well. The new and, one. Uh, it's a new one. Wow. And it's a cover of a Lou Reed song. Um, for those of you who don't know, Lou Reed was the singer for the Velvet Underground, which was one of Andy Warhol's groups. And then he went on to have a solo career, but he had a really distinctive voice. And I just think this one really suits Keith very, very well. He did it with his buddy Steve Jordan and some of his other, other friends. So let's take a look. I, I'm waiting for my man. classic for me. <laughs> so, so freaking cool. I just have to say, I don't care how old he gets. And you He's know, a cool yeah. mf and, and you he, know what? I, yeah. <laughs> he just fits in with us so easily. It's like, he doesn't have any kind of tension, you know, around us. Right, right. $26 in his hand looking for right. the man. Looking <laughs> for the man. <laughs> But my, hey, but my boy, what you doing uptown? And honestly, I think he does this song better than Lou Reed ever did. Who's, oh, who's Lou Reed? I sent you some stuff about Lou Reed. We, we'll do one on Lou Reed, just so you'll know who he is. Okay. But see, back in, um, you know, around, around the same time as The Doors, there was a whole right. other scene in New York that was sort of around, surrounded by Andy Warhol and his little group of artists and musicians and other really cool people. And he started this group called the Velvet Underground. And Lou Reed was the head sing- the lead singer for the Velvet Underground. Wow. But then he went on to do some, um, his solo career as well. So anyway, I think what was really funny, though, is what? like when he was, he just said, you know what? I don't even care. He's looking at the paper, reading the lyrics. I'm like, OK, dude, I'm with you. <laughs> Because I, you know, as growing up in the music business, you know, that was not allowed. I know, that's right, that's right. You couldn't be on your phone? Please. Well, I guess when you're 80 years old, they'll give you a break, huh? Hey, when you were 80 back then, they wasn't giving you a break. They was like, "Uh uh-uh, you better know this song when you come on stage. Yeah. That's funny so because I, I, I can think of some times when, when the Rolling Stones were performing, you could see that Mick was like really upset with Keith, like for not being on time or some other thing. He was like, whatever. He's a rocker, <laughs> you know. He right, right. He's a snatch too. They don't care about what people think of them. So, 
Wow. Anyway, let's Classic. keep it moving. Let's watch the rest. Let's go. I'm waiting for my man. Here comes, he's all dressed in black Beat up shoes and a big straw hat He's never early, he's always late First thing you learn is that you always gotta wait I'm waiting for my name To a brownstone of three flights of stairs. Everybody's pinching, yeah, but nobody cares. Yeah, who's got the works? Give you sweet taste. You gotta split because you got no time to waste. I'm waiting for my man. Baby, don't you holler, baby, don't you scream and shout I'm feeling good, you know I'm gonna work it on now I'm feeling good, I'm feeling oh so fine Until tomorrow, they the some other time Yeah, I'm waiting for my man Rolling Stones, baby. Gotta oh, give it up to a man. So I mean, and and I, like I said, I think he did it better than Lou Reed ever did. What do you think, King? Yes, yes. It was <laughs> it was definitely um King but the, but the, the the guitar mix <clears throat> was like jumping jack flash of, of Rolling Stone. <laughs> Uh-huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I did notice that. <laughs> yeah. That's the only thing that was so different about uh, Lou Reed. I remember Lou Reed back in, back in the day, you know. Mm-hmm. Take a walk on the wild side. That's yeah. what I was saying. Yeah, that's Lou yeah, Reed. Yeah. I also love that song. And the colored girls sing, do 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 Sorry. That's a flashback. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Great music. That was back in the that was back in the seventies. Yep. Yeah. And you know what's so like we as musicians, singers, or producers, you know, we have to come up with all of this music. It's like they've been doing this formula forever. Forever. They have, right. I, I mean, like I've never heard this band ever do like a modulation or any turnarounds. <laughs> they never yeah, know. Yeah. None of that. 
two two cars. <laughs> and that's it. That's it. <laughs> well, I'm a queen two. <laughs> running around your house. Anyway, I had to say that. Anyway, I learned a lot from you guys about songs in the key of G. I never knew that before I met. Before we started doing this, I never knew the difference between a Stratocaster and a Les Paul. You know. <laughs> I got to thank you for that. You increased my knowledge to another level about music. Yes, yes. You know. Yeah, I, just, just, day. I just love the vibe of like them being in the studio and just like, you know, that's that to me is like the old vibe, Dre. Remember, you know how yeah. I was in the studio with George Clinton? I do, I do. It was Alice Woodson and all of these amazing kid funkadelic and all these amazing mm -hmm. people would just come through, you know, George Duke. Right. Back in the day. And I think the thing I liked about it too is that it wasn't a real formal like recording session, kind of like sitting halfway in the green room, halfway in the control room, sometimes yeah. in the studio. Yeah. And I think that really, really worked. It worked. Really I don't well. even think it was a real video. I just think it was random. They were shooting and just said, you know what? That's our video. Well, let's just do this. Yeah. 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 It looked spontaneous, didn't it? Yeah. Yes. It, it really was did. innocent. You know, it didn't. It just didn't have, you know, it wasn't like a set thing. It was like whatever, you know? Yeah, live. It was live, baby. Live. It was live. Right. It was this live. is what we're doing. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I never saw a bunch of old dudes look so cool. They were great. They were great. I want to be that girl, man. Just hanging out, doing a song when I'm 80. <laughs> I know. Uh, yeah. That would be wonderful. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> anyway, time to say goodbye. Thanks everybody for joining us. Give us the thumbs up. Thank you. So, so when some AI thing happened when you did your thumbs up. Do you do it too, King? I want to see if that happens on your phone. Yes. Just wag your thumb a little bit. Why, why can you make that happen sometimes, but we can't other? Cold anyway. blood, baby. Cold blood. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thanks everybody for joining us and give us a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and you know what's going to happen when we get to 1,000 subs. We're going to do our live stream. So we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Oh.